Previously, we looked at the absorption and emission spectra of different elements. And now we're going to look at the reasons for these black lines on the colored background of an absorption spectrum and the colored lines on the black background for an emission spectrum. So here we have the Bohr model of the atom, which has the protons and neutrons in the nucleus and the electrons in energy levels or shells around the nucleus. And we give these energy levels numbers, n equals one, which is closest to the nucleus, n equals two, which is further away, n equals three, and n equals four. So here we have an electron in the n equals one energy level. If this electron absorbs an exact amount of energy, it can transition or move to the n equals two energy level. Here we have another electron in the n equals two energy level. If this electron absorbs an exact amount of energy, it can transition to the n equals three energy level. Here we have an electron in the n equals three energy level. If this electron emits or gives off an exact amount of energy, it can transition down to the n equals one energy level. Here we have an electron in the n equals two energy level. If this electron emits an exact amount of energy, it can transition down to the n equals one energy level. So electrons can transition or move between the energy levels in an atom, depending on whether they absorb energy or emit energy. Electrons absorb energy when they move up to higher energy levels. Electrons emit energy when they move down to lower energy levels. So here we have the hydrogen absorption spectrum, and it can be described as black lines on a colored background. Here we have the energy levels in the hydrogen atom, starting with n equals one, which we call the ground state, then going up to n equals two, n equals three, n equals four, n equals five, and n equals six. So let's look at this first black line here. This black line corresponds to the energy absorbed when the electron transitions from the n equals two to the n equals three energy level. The second black line here corresponds to the energy absorbed when the electron moves from the n equals two to the n equals four energy level. The next black line corresponds to the energy absorbed when the electron moves from the n equals two to the n equals five energy level. And the last black line here corresponds to the energy absorbed when the electron moves from the n equals two to the n equals six energy level. Next, we have the hydrogen emission line spectrum. It can be described as colored lines on a black background. Here we have the energy levels of the hydrogen atom, starting with n equals one, n equals two, n equals three, n equals four, n equals five, and n equals six. So let's look at the reason for this red line. This red line corresponds to the energy emitted when the electron moves from the n equals three energy level down to the n equals two energy level. The next colored line corresponds to the energy emitted when the electron moves from the n equals four down to the n equals two energy level. The next colored line corresponds to the energy emitted when the electron moves from the n equals five down to the n equals two energy level. And the final colored line corresponds to the energy emitted when the electron moves from the n equals six down to the n equals two energy level. 